Introducing the brand new 25th anniversary Unity Double Deck Box. Holographic design inside and out. And made with premium leather. Each deck box includes three leather dividers, one metal field center, and one TSX-1 attribute dice. Save the drop date now. April 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard at TSX1.com. Get your limited deck box now at TSX1.com. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bastido has dropped a brand new selection pack called Nightmare Arrivals. Ladies and gents, this deck not only included the brand new Yugi Moto, aka the Pharaoh, brand new archetype Phantom Beast, but they introduced a brand new dragon dinosaur monster called Evil Sore Lars. <laughs> okay, guys, this card is absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know what this card does, it requires two level six monsters, okay? While this card has material, your opponent cannot target with monster effect. Untarget him. Effect Mealer, you see Effect Mealer? Nope. Can target it. It's not unaffected by imperm. Oh, only monster effects, all right? When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can attach two materials from this card or just one material. If all this card's materials are reptile and or dinosaur monsters, then target one face cup card your opponent controls. The gates effect until the end of this turn. Ladies and gents, this card has a similar effect as Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. It's the same exact ability, but you can use it twice per turn because we're not going to be playing this card in a, in a generic rank 6 deck, you know? We're going to be playing it in strictly a reptile or dinosaur based deck. So we can use this card to its full power by having two additional gates on the field, which is absolutely insane. Ladies and gents, it's time to unlock the true power of evils with the brand new Evil Sword Mars. Let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Saturday, guys. The Unity Collection is now live at TXX1.com. What are you waiting for? If you guys haven't gotten the deck box yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX1.com. Be sure to use coupon code POC10 or POTATO10 for 10% off your entire order. And sleeves are back in stock, ladies and gents. And by the way, they ship out April the 22nd. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you guys read the description before. Anyways, sleeves are now back in stock. You guys look at the website. We stocked the site with sleeves. Once again, the pinks are back. The whites are back. Unfortunately, the cases are sold out because you guys weren't fast enough. But, you know, the other bundles are still there. So make sure you guys get the best sleeves in the entire world alongside the brand new Unity Collection, the hottest deck box of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at that. Got that, got that. The double deck box, yes. Oh, what do you see here? Sorry. A detachable dice tray ladies and gents so boom listen go to the next tournament with style with the brand new unity deck box get it today in the link down below tx61.com i love you guys ladies and gents this right here is my brand new evil tau evil sword deck we got brand new support evil zor liao's this card is broken if this card is normal summon or special summon you can set one evolutionary bridge or evo singularity directly from your deck so this card right here is a one card leg yeah one card dalka or one card lars you target the evil town monster and one evil star monster in your graveyard especially one evil star exceeds monster from your extra deck and if you do attach those materials to it as materials so you target two overlay for dalka Lagia, or lars that's basically it and i'm not playing soda in this deck because soda's ass and a large just outclass soda in every way shape or form so this gets you access to singularity and also during your main phase if you control this card that was normal summon or special by the effect of a fire reptile or dinosaur monster you can send one fire reptile or dinosaur monster from your deck to the graveyard then you can make two monsters in the field become the same level so what you're doing is that you're using this ability to send miscellaneous source to the graveyard target two of your monsters make them dinosaurs you know what I'm saying? Level 4. And you can either make Dolka and also Lars uh, with uh, Evil Sword Liao's. But the good thing about Liao is not only you get access to Singularity, but it gets you access to Misk. And Misk gets you access to Animadorn. Animadorn pops a card, which is going to be the Liao's. Gets you access to Double Evolution Pill, which I'll showcase you guys the combo uh, in a sec. So you're com combining like a Dino Hybrid with Evil Tile, which is like a small Dino Engine, which is UCT, Double Evolution Pill, Animadorn, and Misk. Just so you can help clear boards faster against decks that utilizes, you know, like big massive boards. UCT can clear those boards uh with 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 absolute ease, right? So that's why the, that's why the, the dinosaur engine is there because it synergizes really well with Evil Sword Liao's. The best card in the deck has to be Fullis and Najasho. Foolish and Najasho are the best two-card combinations in the entire deck. Foolish when it's normal summoned uh, or special summon, you can special one Evil Town monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense. And what this card does is that once per turn during the main phase, you can set one evil force directly from your deck. So you're gonna be able to just go like 
evil evil tile folus set the joshua activate evil force tribute the joshua bring back elias from the deck activate the joshua bring out leos from the deck and the combo just continues there and it's a two card five the gate combo which you guys can easily learn and I'm going to show you guys that combo in a sec. Like the Wanted Engine and Die Bell Star Engine is not necessary at all. But I feel like Original gets you, getting you access to Mega Chirella is insane. Because this card's a one card combo, right? You need this and a discard. Uh, you know, so you like, you know, discard a card, especially some Liao's from the deck. And then you have full combo. To help you get access to UCT and either Delka or Lars on the very first turn with just a one card combo gets you three in the gates. So Mega uh, Chirella is really insane and original gets you this card and that's why i'm playing the die ball star engine and also going second this engine is just cap because like you're just trying to eat the imperms and veilers because you want your opponent to think that you're playing snake eyes right and though and no and no veiler and imperm just say like, anybody sees which they're gonna have to veil or imperm it you have to prioritize your normal summon this deck i'm not gonna cap to you guys like if your normal summon gets stopped the deck is actually just really really weak so not only does it get you access to mega Ch uh, chorella but also helps you get access to like the dark plays and the Hita plays and the Selene Axis will plays while going second, which is why I think the Diabolic Star Engine is a pretty good touch uh, to this deck right here. And also synergizes because Mega Chirilla is a level one. So that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let's hop on to some of bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to mastering this deck in Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the combo segment for this new Evo Dragon Dinosaur deck that I truly enjoy playing here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This deck is 100% underrepresented for sure. And I'm gonna show you guys two bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to playing this deck. First, I'm gonna show you guys a one card combo where you just need Evil Tile, Mega Chirilla, and any discard, all right? Discard and any discard is basically uh, three negates right here. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can, what this card does is you can tribute one reptile monster to discard one card, special one level six or lower fire dinosaur monster from your deck. So. You don't use this effect, tribute itself. Of course, you discard any card. So I'm just using this card as this card. Uh, we're gonna special summon, of course, Evil Sword Liao's uh, directly from the deck. And then we're gonna use Evil Sword Liao's effect right here to set the singularity to your side of the field. Okay. And then you're gonna activate your Liao's effect right here to dump miscellaneous source to the graveyard. The synergy that it has with dinosaurs is insane. So you, this is a dinosaur, obviously. And then what you do next is you're gonna activate miscellaneous source effect right here. Uh, to banish yourself from the graveyard to special summon Link Kribo directly from the deck. So summon of, uh, to special summon Animador and Argosaur directly from the deck. Now I'm going to activate Animador. Uh, now, now I'm going to activate Animador's effect. Uh, we're going to pop the Liao's on the field. So Evolution Pill. And ladies and gents, the rest is history. All right, and then we go this uh, Link Kribo here. All right, ladies and gents, Link Kribo. Yes, and then we go. Of course, secure God now here. Yes. Here we go, ladies and gents. And then we go Evolution Pill, uh, bashing the Animadoran and also the Link Revo. Important not to banish any of your Evo Tile cards because they are needed for Singularity. UCT here. Okay. And then that's just a, 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 a one one card combo, one one point five card combo because you need to discard. Now you're gonna end your turn right here, and usually on your opponent's turn, this is what you do. On draw phase, you activate Evil Singularity. Uh, target, of course, Mega Chilia. And, of course, Liao's here. Summon Lars. Boom. You have a Lars and Doka. No, so you have a Lars, Doka, or Lagia with a UCT, which is one card. How insane is this? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is Tuna Gates here. Insane. Yeah, whatever. He, our, our, our opponent can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they can do whatever. You can go this, negate that, you know what I'm saying? Negate, you know. And the follow-ups are actually insane too, which is ridiculous. I'll show you guys the follow-ups. Okay, look at this. So we can just keep using our Lars negates, uh, which is really, really nice. Domain, sure. We can just use it, this, our, our negates right here. And what's really good about this is that we can actually use Mega Chilia to banish itself uh to give lars back its material on your turn which is really really good all right so watch this so obviously in this case we have a liao's here but the the functionality of mega chilia here it was gives us access to uh right here watch just use this right if we have like other dinosaurs in a grave or in our hand we can just target this okay we can just put this in the grave and also attach the joshua that's in the hand but if you have multiple uh, materials in the grave you can basically repel as lars materials uh, for absolutely free so 
this is obviously just you know the one card combo it isn't too terrifying but it's still a one card combo three negates backed up with a bunch of non-engine you're pretty more than likely just gonna win the duel for this case right here we had another singularity so we could have set it as well use both our lars gates and then activate another singularity to make another lars or make another delco or make another lagia which is actually very powerful so that's pretty much for the one card combo let's go on to the most broken combo in the deck in my opinion ladies and gents the strongest combo in the deck has to be evil tile fullest with evil town joshua that's why you maximize yourself on actually playing three of each alongside three evil diversity because this is basically any evil tower any evil sort monster so you're essentially playing six copies of each cards uh, in your deck all uh, right so you know these two cards are the strongest what you want to do is you're on normal summon fullest activate fullest effect this card gets special on an evil town monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense position so you're special of course evil town the joshua here so it either summons from the hand or the grave and then you want to activate this card's effect during the main phase you can set one evil force or evil instant directly from your deck so you're going to set the evil force and evil force is insane because you get to activate evil force to tribute the joshua and you guys know what happens when the joshua gets tributed right uh you get a special summon of course off the evil force you get a special summon evil sword elias from the deck Make sure you summon Elias from the deck. Uh, it's a free summon. At this point, if you have another card you can special from your hand, you could. But I feel like this play, if you did have that, which I did in in terms of evil diversity, you can obviously do more. But doing that plays you into Nibiru, which you don't have to play into Nibiru, uh, right? With um, at all. Like I, I, I would not personally play into Nib. Me, the way I play Yu-Gi-Oh is if I can make, let's say, a solid four negates without having to play into Nib. I would make a solid neg four negates over making six negates. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying? Now, since Evil Town and Joshua was tributed, okay, you gotta use the Joshua's effect, especially on an Evil Zora monster directly from the deck, which is gonna be Evil Zora Liao. So this card's broken. Now, when Liao is a summon, you get to set the singularity of obviously. Set the singularity here. And then uh, you get to use Liao's effect to dump the miscellaneous source here. Okay, dump the miss. And Liao's, whatever, whatever it dumps, it can manipulate the level of two monsters uh, on the field become the same type and level. So we're going to be both dinosaur monsters, which is insane. So yes, we're going to select uh, Fullis and of course Elias. These two will become dinosaur monsters. Now you overlay these two uh, for Doka right here, which is insane. So this is your fifth summon, uh, which is Doka. So you're immune to Nibiru. Only thing you lose to is Nib Imperm, obviously. So I always like to make Doka over Lagia because Lagia can stop Imperm, whereas Doka has more range on stopping cards like Valor, Nib, Ash. And it's not once per turn as well. So that's why Doka is a bit better. And then you get to activate Misk. Same exact combos as the Me uh, Mega uh, Megacholus. Summon Arcosaur in the deck. And they're going to activate Aqua Arcosaur's effect to pop the Liao's. Obviously, pop the Liao's. Search Evolution Pill. Uh, Link Kribo, you know, Link Kribo, and then you will secure Gardner, obviously. Uh, these two, okay, make secure here. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, and then you activate Evolution Pill, okay, here. Banish this and banish Karibo. Summon UCT from the deck, okay, absolutely beautiful. And now this is your end board right here. Three negates guaranteed with Dalka playing around Nib and hand traps. On your opponent's turn, you activate Singularity, target Najasho, target Liao's here, summon Lars, and you have a total of five negates with just two cards. The most simplest five negates you'll ever see, but this is absolutely terrifying. So Pantheism, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and also backed up with non-engine, like you're 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 not losing the duel. Like back to a non-engine, like you're 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 not losing. Look at this. Five the gates, six, seven the gates with maxi. It, it's just too much. It's just too much for your opponent to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know, like this this is all cap. You know what I'm saying? I just want to showcase you guys just the true power and what this thing is able to do. So, yeah, this right here is five the gates, which your opponent's not gonna be able to beat. You see, They're like obviously we're playing against a bot, but you guys get where I'm coming from, right? And this is over 8,000 damage on the field already. So this is the most broken, most broken two-card combo that this deck uh, has, in uh, in my opinion. So you tr you want to try to end on this end board. Singularity is not once per turn, so you have multiple copies of Singularity. Like I explained in the first combo, you can use it again once you wasted your negates already to provide you additional negates on the field even more. So 
that's pretty much the combos guys let's hop into master Duel rank and send all our opponents to the shadow realm all right ladies and gentlemen here we go evils all right guys dinos holy shoot all right guys so what we're gonna do with his hand is a bunch of cap all right guys we're gonna start out with die or the black witch play with black witch see how far we can get with black witch and then we normal summon uh fullest summon the jasho and then we have full combo right the reason why i'm playing black witch in the deck like i explained to you guys before she's just an engine for a cat you know what i'm saying like she gets you access to original original is really strong because original gets you access uh to of course um the level one dinosaur fire monster which is actually amazing the main goal with this deck is to try to get access to um Folis and the joshua and you pretty much have full combo here so we're playing against runic bestials here uh, which is fine I, I believe this deck is absolutely cap anyways it's, it's all good okay guys here we go watch he's gonna magnum hunt it's fine cartesia yeah yes yeah he's gonna make baron make a bunch of this make a bunch of that it don't matter you know what i'm saying it's okay and which is also great because she helps you get access to like um your link plays as well which is amazing um so yeah here we go guys we'll see so this gets you this gets access to the bear line which is kind of annoying but we, we can definitely beat one of the gate you know what i'm saying it's not a big deal this pater okay this pater does absolutely nothing okay okay so especially when of course the ball drake ball drake is a level six and two makes what sp little knight is not yet here in the tcg so this board isn't isn't that great he has nothing I guess the cards that's gonna be banished is all my own cards, so he has a negate with Dispater. Um, but still, he has access to Lubelion here. I think Lubelion probably tributing this is a bit better. Well, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because he gets access to uh, Regain right here, which is kind of annoying. Regain getting access to the Recursion of Magnum, which is what makes this deck a bit strong. It's Fountain in the Hand of One Unknown. So that's, we, have, we have to assume that's that's a Runic card here. So Magnum is gonna search to Druze Worm, potentially a Runic card in his hand that's completely fine um we can definitely cook with this guys we, we we can definitely cook with this it's fine all right guys here we go let's let's beat out a bunch of cards you know um oh we drew animadorn which is not good at all uh, but we but that means our evil pill is alive let's call by the grave this yeah let's call by the grave this immediately this uh yeah i'm gonna call by the grave that we're, we're we're breaking this entire board it, it doesn't matter. We're actually breaking this entire board. You guys will see it like for yourselves right now. Okay, we can just go Black Witch, send Animadorn. Which is a bunch of cat. Watch. Just watch this. This is why Black Witch is so good in this deck. Black Witch, send Animadorn. Summon this. <sighs> then, yeah, regain will trigger. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it doesn't matter what happens. As long as they don't draw into tip and stuff like that, like tip and freezing curses, that that would be kind of annoying, but. Brigade is good. Magnum is good, yep. Regain something back this. I'm gonna set uh, the original here. Magnum is fine. Send this. Summon this. Druid's Worm is good. So yeah, yeah, setting the Black Witch here is, is, is kind of annoying. Uh, well, alright. I ho Hopefully that's not a Runic card. Well, this board does a bunch of nothing now. This board literally does a bunch of nothing now. Oh no, he still has to negate with this pattern. We need to somehow clear this entire board, okay guys? We have to do... In normal this... Effect... Oh my god, tributing this is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody in the Jasho? Oh my god, this is game over. This is literally game over. Oh my god, this is game over, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm breaking this entire board. He has nothing. It's all cap. It's all cap, guys. Send this guy. We'll summon Elias from the deck. Okay, here. And obviously, no triggers. And then we trigger off the Joshua's effect to bring back the big dinosaur. 
Uh, of course, Liao's. Liao's. And of course, Liao's. We set singularity here. And bro, we can actually use this. This, this effect is insane because we can just do this. Dump a level four dino to the grave and make these four, uh, these two level four dinos. Miss is pointless because Animadorn is already gone, but Miss is still really good because we can manage four dinos from our graveyard, right? So we can just, I guess, send this. Yes, we'll select this. Like this. Then we use these two to make Dulka here. Okay. And we need to banish this and this. Activate this. So we have protecting our hand traps now. Maybe if this is a runic, then he he definitely outplayed me for sure. Banish these two. Oh, I should have never banished that. That's a bad banish. I should have banished the Joshua. I think this might be game. Yeah. Beito. Effect. A thousand. Stings, doesn't. Honestly, this that was wrong. Definitely a wrong order. Just in case I have a I had a runic. Okay, and then I use of course UCT, send this one, and then Drew's Roma trigger. Then we just negate it with Dalka, it's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have a, a, a tip out or something. Just negate it with Dalka here. Detach this. Okay, here we go. Negate that. He still gets an end phase Druze Worm search, which is kind of annoying. But that's okay. Uh, we can make Zeus here, but there's no point. I, I think I, uh, I think like uh, uh, Dolka is just a bit better. Here we go. I think I yeah. I, I think this is the end of our, our opponent here. I should never banish the uh, Evotile Mega Chorilla. Don't 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 think that, don't think that, that, that was a good banish. Uh, but. Artesia. Do I negate this? No, I don't need that. I go Singularity here. I think Lars is just the best option. I think Lars is the best option here. We can't... Yeah, I'm negating that immediately. I'm negating that. Drew's room can't touch the field. Drew's can't touch the, the, the field. Cartesia to unknown, and then we get access to Lars. Lars, yes. Throwing because regain will get the summon. I think I'm a Lars negate that. He has Cartesia to unknown. Just negate that. I I can't let this Peter touch the field. Maybe there's another runic. You have Cartesia, another another runic maybe. You just negate the runic, right? And also UCT can just pop the Delka to flip everything face down. So I think we're we're pretty much in a great position to win. Cartesia is fine. Yep, that's good. Cartesia is fine. Yeah, it's a bunch of cap. It doesn't do anything. It's a bunch of cap. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do nothing. That's fine. Yep. Let's give the battle phase. That's fine. Draw. You just save it for the 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 the, the cards that threaten us, right? It it uh, it, uh, it 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 doesn't matter. Uh, we can normal summon Liao's. Affects that other singularity, which is actually insane. Oh my god, I totally forgot about regain. Honestly, it's fine. We just enter battle phase in UCT, right? Okay, here we go. We save Laos right in that, uh, that threatening us, you know? Singularity. And I think we just go battle phase here. Yo, what's crazy is we can actually make UCT a level 4, which is actually ridiculous. Let's go battle phase, bro. We just save Lars for any of the runic that he activates. Sure. Branded Beast. We just go Lars. Detach. Negate. Branded Beast is crazy. Okay. And then you see, let's see what he uses Drews on. Watch, guys. This is actually what's so crazy about uh, Mega Chorella here. Yeah, Drews is crazy. Yeah. I should have never normal summoned Liao. That's fine. Yes, I'm going to continue my main phase because we have Mist Gear. Activate Mist. We can summon another Liao's from the deck. Banish four cards. Banish four of these mans here. 
some another Leos from the deck. Oh my god, I'm ass! Activate this. Yo, if he if, if I, I somehow lose to this, I'm just ass. I should just enter battle phase. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, if he draws tip. If he draws tip, I'm I'm just ass. If he draws tip, I'm ass. If he draws tip, I'm ass. If he draws anything playable, I'm just ass. Okay, you do nothing playable. Go lag you here. Yeah. We have animations for these two, by the way, guys. Just go battle phase now. I honestly just wanted to flex. I honestly just wanted to flex. Guys, I, I already want this match in my mind. If there's nothing threatening on the board, I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not negating anything. That's fine, yeah. Smash my rooting monster is good. Yeah, Smash my rooting monster is good. I'm cool with that. Just capping, you know? We just lag you, you know? We just gotta, just gotta make lag you. He, he thinks I'm gonna attack Gary, bro? Battle phase? Lars? Finish him? Lars! What can he summon? Just negate this. If he has... Oh my god, I'm ass. I'm ass. Well, he he, he still can't stop this. He, uh, you know, you know, he has flash and fire. It doesn't matter. I should running to the extra monster zone. What the heck? He, he could add flashing fire, but it but it doesn't do anything. I still, you know, I still, hey guys, I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass. Holy shit, Lars! God dang, god dang, this deck is insane. Remember, guys, die bell star is insane. We cleared that entire board with absolute ease, guys. Absolute ease, ladies and gents. That first duel was absolutely beautiful, guys. Holy smokes, that first duel was 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 gorgeous. Holy smokes, guys. Now we're going to, uh now we get the luxury to go first. This hand is amazing. Uh uninterrupted right here. Diversity with uh Folis right here is one of the best combos the, the, the entire deck has, which you guys will see right now. So no interruptions on our opponent's end for sure. We're not seeing a delay here. We'll add, of course, Evil Jow the, 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 the Jasho. And Folis right here is the best two-card combo in the deck. Folis and the Jasho. And when it summons itself, summons the, the, the Jasho from the hand. Uh, which is insane in face on defense and you can activate fullest effect right here to obviously set the evil force right here we're gonna set the evil force and then ladies and gents we're gonna activate evil force here to attribute uh, this this is the combo and uh, this combo plays around the bureau as well so you summon elias from the deck elias can overextend to summon of course liao's from your hand as well which is insane one two three four four five this how this plays into nib heavily so i'm not gonna play into nib because this is one two three this will be four okay no i'm bro like i'm always a safe you know like i always go with the safe play like obviously summoning this will give will give you access to more more crazy bodies on the board but i feel like it's not it's not the safest play this is four summons i feel like it's safe um in Yu-Gi-Oh, guys if you can already uh fully commit to your combo without having the risk of playing to nibiru you always go for the safer route in my opinion i always go for the safer route I don't go for the craziest boards because this, this board already five negates, right? What's the difference between like six negates is not gonna do you any better? Uh, nope, we're not gonna change that. We're gonna send uh, set singularity, okay? And then we'll use Liao's effect. We're gonna dump miscellaneous source to the grave here. Miscellaneous source. Now this becomes uh, uh yes, yeah, select this, pull this, and select Elias. And now they better have uh nib imperm right here, or else they just lose the duel. Oh, this is a wrong column right here. Do not put Dolka in this zone because they're going to um, anima you and you don't want that to happen. So, yeah, so we're going to go Misk right here. I'm uh, going to banish this card from the graveyard. We're going to special summon an Animadone Archosaur directly from the deck. Okay, here. And then we're going to use uh, Animadorn right here to pop the Evils or Liao's right here, which is amazing. Summon this, pop this on the field. Two card combos you guys see. Add double evolution pill. And you make Animadorn, Link Rebo. You know, you guys know the shenanigans here. Animadorn here. And then you turn it into Secure Gardener. Obviously. My my favorite card. Okay. And then you make UCT Doka right here, which is actually strong. Very, very strong. You go this. This is breaking every board, guys. So we're banishing this and banishing uh Karibo. 
Okay. Make sure it's important to banish those because you need these two cards in the grave an evil tile and evil zor uh for singularity right so always remember that come in this uct and then you end your turn here and on draw phase i like to do on draw phase with his hand so you don't play into tactics right away i chain maxi here okay if he has ash we, we just negate ash with dolka here we go just chain maxi here he's probably gonna you know dolka it it's fine call by is annoying he like okay we obviously can't stop call by you know but at least we get singularity out you know what i'm saying like it's it's a fair trade-off right it's a fair trade-off right so now he can't call by the, the singularity so like you know like we're pretty much lit you know so now we get access to lars and lars is absolutely broken in this deck it's additional two negates you know what i'm saying so we can get another access to doka if you want but i think lars is cooler you know because it's the newer card that came out he has just double call by but i i'm assuming, i'm pretty sure he doesn't have double call by let's go lars here Lars! Isn't Lars a guy from Street Fighter, bro? Am I tripping up? Lars is a Street Fighter guy, right? Ladies and gents, Lars is a Street Fighter guy. To go battle face, that's fine. Evenly matched. Lars is going to get evenly matched. Like, Lars is insane. And if he has double evenly matched, we can just negate it. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Boom. Easy. Easy, ladies and gents. Easy. Easy. Nope. Gonna get that. Yes, sir. There's, there's nothing you can do. Like, we just save Lars for the breakers and Dolka for the monster gates and use it to. Ross, see? There's no way he plays Dark Ruler, right? Okay, if he has tactics, he has tactics. And then we get absolutely cooked. But I don't think he's playing Dark Ruler no more, though. No, I'm just gonna, oh, no, I'm just gonna Lars the Gates. I get punished the tactics right here. If he has tactics, he has tactics. What else can a man do? You know, if he has tactics, he has tactics. I'm just hoping. I I I I am just doing this. The, the reason why I'm doing this play is because just in case he has ruler, right? If he has ruler, all, all of the gates are, are off. If he has tactics, then I lose anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, like dark ruler, I lose tactics. I also get punished on. Okay. Watch this. Die Bell Star is insane. She's absolutely insane. Send Liao's. Okay. Okay, and then Diabo. Activate her effect here. Watch, watch this. Like Lars will get get his material back. That's what's really good about this. Tribute this guy. Summon this guy here. So activate this. Tribute himself. And discard this. No, and then we get to summon, of course, Liao's from the deck. And we use Liao's effect. Uh, we just sent set singularity here. And then guys, look at this. We just go ham. And we use this guy's effect. Like we just give Lars back our, our materials. Like how OD is that? Like how OD is that? He just got back two materials. Like the guy just got back two materials for free. 25. Oh, I'm gonna put this in attack mode. I'm, I'm a noob. Still game. Guess that bell star finish off insane absolutely insane this deck is ridiculous guys this deck is absolutely ridiculous the gates upon the gates upon the gates ladies and gents this deck is insane all right ladies and gents game number three on the line here we go we're going first let's see we open up cracked when when we did we, we open up absolutely cracked here uh let's let's uh let's capture our opponent real quick let's let's captain him all right let's go wanted Oh, okay. Our opponent has no hand traps here. Honestly, bro, I feel like just... Let's play with the evil cards first. Let's go with diversity here. Uh, let's get, of course, uh, Fullest. Fullest to Joshua's FTK. Uh, you know, of course. And we got, oh, also got sing Singularity as well, which is ridiculous. But normal Fullest. Activate effect. Obviously, Die Ball Star, I think, is a bit stronger going second through pushes. Uh, but um, regardless, like we're still going to be uh, able to push regardless. Because we have Singularity up, right? So we're already playing through a bunch of hand tries because we're guaranteed two negates automatically, right? So we just go evil force, send this to the graveyard. Uh, summon, of course, Elias here. Elias, the most ugly looking dinosaur draft ever seen in my life. Affecting Joshua. We're going to special one, of course, uh, Liao's, the royal rare, of course. And we're going to go Liao's effect. And we're going to uh, set the singularity. So now we have double singularity, uh, which is insane. Now we go Liao's, of course. 
Uh, we're gonna send the miscellaneous source, making these guys level fours. And then we use these two mans to make Delka here. Delka is insane. Yes, sir. And then we can just use this. This plays around Call by the Grave, by the way, which is really good. So, like, we can use all our negates and then Singularity again, which is absolutely annoying. Nope, we're going to summon Animadorn. Yes, sir. Animadorn here. Animadorn effect. Pop. Okay, pop this. I'm not going to use Dark Witch because, you know, like, we have interruptions that's already in our hands. So there's no point of, like, sacrificing something for Dark Witch for, like, a... Like, this is already, like, 10 negates right here. You know what I'm saying? This is, like, 7 negate board right here. 7 negates. Then we go Secure Godna. Right? Only thing that beats is, like, Nib and Perm, obviously. Nib and Perm, like, we can't beat Nib and Perm always. It's so hard to beat Nib and Perm. We go Double Evolution Pill. Uh, we banish Animadorn. Of course, Karibo. Summon UCT here in defense mode. Ladies and gents. And then we set impermanence, set singularity. This is like. This is eight negates here. This is eight negates. And then we have Dab also the Black Witch for follow up, which is ridiculous. So we can make Lars here. Activate singularity here. We make Lars. Not. Nah, they're, they're, they're not beating this. Lars! And then we use both our Lars negates or Delka negates, and then we activate a uh, 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 sing. Like, with it, and then we activate Singularity again. Which is insane. So we use both our Delka negates, both our Lars negates, and then activate Singularity with GG. Like, more negates. Ward is too strong, bro. It's too strong. If it goes first uninterrupted, like, your, your opponent's not beating his. <laughs> Greetings! That is it. Okay, you know what? I don't care if I lose this duel. Yo, kudos to this dude right here. He, yo, I, I got wrecked. I, I got like, I didn't get wrecked. I got absolutely destroyed. Okay, yeah, let's see what this guy's cooking with first. I don't know what deck he's playing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another Doka, bro. I'm gonna make another Doka. Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit, man! That, that, that was insane. I don't care what that was insane, bro. He, he he broke my board. He broke my board. So Ecclesia, he can't normal summon. No, he can't normal summon. So we just negate any monster effect. He tries to activate the Delka. We also got Black Witch to follow up as well. It's not like I, I don't get enough to react. Oh my god. Alright. Eh. He already normal summoned, so I don't think he could normal summon again. What else is he normal summoning? A god can't beat an impermanence, you know? Okay, alright, bet. So if he's soul crossing me, I, I deserve to lose, bro. We're gonna draw off a turn. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. This card is insane. Alright, we just go um send this to the grave. Summon Black Witch. Okay. Then we activate Black Witch, send sinful spoils. Judgment? Judgment. On the Diabell Star? Is he is he okay? This should be game, right? We just normal summon this. Have no card to discard, so obviously we can't do that. Do any of that. Let's go Hida here. There you go. Yeah, bro. Congratulations, bro. You can't. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Doka, finish him. <laughs> Get out of here with your wing dragon, bro. You're not Syriax. You're not Syriax, bro. You're not Syriax. Uh, to my own knowledge, this loser is the only one that knows how to play Egyptian gods. 6131. You ain't Syriax. Grass!